What's cracking, everybody? We are two days away from October 1st. We are hitting the fever pitch of excitement, getting ready for both season to open up, at least here in Illinois and in Iowa and a lot of other places that open on October 1st, which is a magical month in the woods for us bow hunters. So with that being said, I want to bring to you guys what I think are six amazing deer hunts that everybody should watch before October 1st that's going to get you jacked up and ready to go for deer season. So let's get started. Number one, guys over at Hunting Public, they got a lot of good stuff. I'm not going to lie. It was hard to pick one hunt. I called my buddy Tommy this morning. He had his favorite. I talked to Courtney. She had her favorite. But I'm going with one of my favorites from a couple of years ago. This is Jake out in North Dakota, early season, spot and stalk on the ground. He shoots this velvet buck at what looks to be like five feet in one of the coolest hunts I've ever seen documented. So if you guys have not seen this one, make sure you check it out. It's an early season North Dakota hunt from the hunting public. Number two is going to be Whitetail Edge, Ben Rising. This is a guy that's been around for a long time. I remember watching him on the jury DVDs many, many years ago. If you guys haven't checked out his series, Whitetail Edge, make sure you check it out. Last year, Ben had possibly one of the greatest stretches of deer hunting that any hunter has ever had. He killed four mature bucks, a couple of them giants over the course of like two weeks. It was absolutely incredible. The last year that he killed was a buck that had been nicknamed Scissors by the landowner um, who invited Ben to come out onto his property. He'd never been there before in his life. He spent three or four days on this property, moving around, scouting, hanging stands, finally was able to seal the deal on an absolute mega giant of a deer. It's just a really cool hunt. I think you guys are going to enjoy it, so make sure you check it out. Number three, this is a hunt from Drury Outdoors. How could we not include them in our list? They've been a staple in my deer hunting video watching for many, many decades now. So a couple of years ago, Mark Drury shoots an absolute giant 216 inch buck in a food plot. And what I like the most about this hunt is it's kind of a redemption hunt for Mark. He shoots this deer at 43 yards, absolutely smokes it. And he goes on to talk about the previous year in the same food plot, in the same spot, he had had a shot at a buck that he made a bad hit on and that really ate at him. And I think a lot of us have been there in our deer hunting careers and he worked his tail off, practiced all off season, was presented an opportunity at what for most of us would be a once in a lifetime deer. For Mark, not so much, but still a giant and he absolutely just laces this thing. It's a really cool hunt uh, and just a testament to practicing and getting back up on that horse and, and getting the job done. So make sure you guys check that one out as well. Number four is gonna be Chris B in Kansas on public land. If you guys haven't seen this hunt, this is like what everybody that travels out of state and hunts public land hopes is gonna happen to them. He walks onto a piece of property for the first time in his life and has an absolute magnum deer come in and he smokes the thing. I mean, I don't know. This is just one of those like dream hunts. And I think it's really cool to see Chris and the popularity that's been building around his brand, around his channel. The last couple of years, he's doing an awesome job. All right, number five, I would be remiss to not include one of our own hunts in here. And I'm going to include Todd Graff, the man, the legend, his 192 inch buck from Illinois. This is before bow hunter die was even a thing. This is probably the hunt that put us, I guess, on the map. The one that so many people still remember, you know, from the early days of bowhunting.com. You know, it was local here in the suburbs. This was a deer. And I remember that night because I actually dropped Todd off to get into his spot where he was hunting that night because he didn't have anywhere to park on that side of the farm. He didn't want to just park on the side of the road where everybody could see his truck. So I'll never forget him being like, dude, I need you to drop me off over here. I got a specific wind. I know this buck is in here. I'm going to go in there and kill him. And that's exactly what he did. So this is one of my all-time favorite hunts from Todd or really anybody on our team. It always gets me jacked up for season, probably because I got to be a, at least a small part of it. But I think you guys, if you haven't already seen it, should definitely watch it. It's an awesome hunt. All right, so I was originally going to make this my top five hunts, but I added a six hunt and I saved the best one for last. This is a hunt that if you guys have not seen this, and you may have seen a part of it, right? There's been a, a clip of this floating around the internet for years now. This is Todd Pringnitz with White Knuckle Productions and the White Knuckle Web Show shooting a deer that he called Walter Payton. And his reaction when he recovers this deer is absolutely legendary. It's, it's something that 
will probably never be replicated again. Uh, and it's something that many of us only wish we had the emotions and was willing to actually show them on camera the way that Todd was. You know, unfortunately, he passed away a few years ago. Um, Got to tell you, every year during hunting season, I miss that dude. I miss calling him, texting with him. I miss his energy and his enthusiasm. Uh, but this was, in my opinion, uh, Todd's finest hunt. And if, if this doesn't get you jacked up for the impending deer season, nothing will. So I hope you guys enjoyed these six hunts. Make sure you go check them out. We're going to leave links to every one of these hunts in the description of this video. October 1st is right around the corner. Let's get pumped up. Bow hunter die, baby.